Good morning, Eternum. John Chalant, KOTT News, and I'm here in the early morning hours after rumors of the Western Death Wall receding and allowing entry. The citizens of Eternum were quick to secure the route and establish a shrine transport network hub near the entrance to the desert region. It should be noted that the secondary entrance to the revealed region, previously reported on by this network, has also been hastily improved overnight and is the closest alternative route to reach the first actual outpost in the desert region. But beware, my fellow Eternums. If you enter the region without sunscreen, you will perish. But fear not. Syndicate members seeking a non-bear urine-infused SPF blend can start their journey in Mountain Home. Simply combine a couple fish oil with some locally abundant mountain plants and you're all set to adventure. Covenant forces were quick to make their pilgrimage to the desert, having positioned themselves in Ebonscale beforehand and claimed the region in the name of the Spark early this morning. Discovered in the wastelands, an empty hamlet, apparently built by more advanced civilization, has been claimed by right of legitimate purchase by the forces of Here Be Brimstone in accordance with the Week 1 Accords. Mission board signups are available for citizens who wish to endear themselves to the region. This news marks the conclusion of the second chapter in Eternum's history and enters the third as this new region becomes available. In other news, that wasn't the only dynamic change in Eternum last night as the forces of RAR 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 complete their pilgrimage to the bear infested deep forests of Brightwood. KOTT News crews caught up with company leadership and asked them about the fight. Hello, sir. Congratulations on your victory here in Brightwood tonight. As I understand it, the property was for sale. Did you purchase it or did you come in and take it by force? Uh, we purchased it. I will be completely 100% honest with you. They are exiting the server and as one big company leaves, we are using this as a staging ground for our new company merger that's going to be coming in shortly. All right, so you said uh, the merger coming. Now, based on the banners you're flying here today, is it safe to assume that you will be coming together with the Covenant Forces of Royal Bums? There will be a three-way merge, a uh, big company coming that's going to be able to help protect, the help protect the territories and help protect the server as a whole. Is there anything else you might like to say to the citizens of Eternum while you're here? I just want to say thank you for everybody for being supportive of my company and my friends and any movements that we have made have been met with uh, support and admiration from everybody and I really appreciate everybody. Despite the distractions of a possible escape from the island through the recently discovered region, local civic leaders are going forward with fall festivals. The Ebonscale Tourism Council would like to advise its citizens to refrain from unlicensed pyrotechnic displays during this season as upkeep services sweep fallen leaves down the mountain. They apologize for this inconvenience and thank you for your patience. Full onsen and hot spring access is still available to all members of the community, regardless of faction, in the deluxe springs of the lower levels. Turning to the weather, and it looks like the sun is going to spend most of its time near the new area today, so look out for corrupted invasion forces getting aggressive through 30% of the island. Three submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, the Marauders of DBA assail the Covenant forces of Order of Chaos for control of First Light and the flow of the Spice. The Marauders of DBA scramble in the confusion of the new region's reveal. As civic leaders posture for control in the desert, DBA will strike at the Spice. This will be Order of Chaos's first defense of the Spice production facilities since acquiring it last weekend under undisclosed conditions, but can they keep it? Later, the Marauders of CB4 assault the Covenant forces of Beach Bums for control of the always uncontrollable Restless Shore. Gusto and the boys fight on back-to-back -back nights after having performed a ceremonial tea party in Cutlass Keys last night. The Beach Bums have been spotted in the high deserts of Brimstone all day long, but will they fall back to protect their staging grounds? Meanwhile, the Marauders of PvP Dodgers challenge the Syndicate forces of Garys for their championship title. 
and the right to rule over Everfall. KOTT News spoke with PVP Dodgers leadership last night and have been informed that though recently non-aggressive, the changing topology of the land calls for action. On the other hand, the forces of Gary's appear to have disassociated with the eSports group collective, so may be standing ready to defend their belt for another round. We'll bring you more on these top stories as they develop tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.